Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you a, a wig review. So this is a human hair wig and I have no experience in human hair wigs, but oh my gosh, what a difference. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Even if wig talk is not your gig, I would truly appreciate, even if you just let the video play, you know, to, to give me that view, but I would truly appreciate your support. Like the video, leave me a comment. If you are into wigs, have you ever tried a human hair wig? I know many of us have used synthetic hair a lot, at least I have. I've never had a human hair wig until this time. And if you are in the wig community, then you've probably already seen a number of reviews about this company. This company actually reached out to me quite a while ago. The company's called Wig She. And I was really hesitant on saying yes to them, even though they were very low demand. I mean, this is, they just said, would you like you know, pick a wig. And if you pick a wig, here's what you need to do. Go to this page, then, you know, select what you really want and then give us time to create this because they're all basically custom made. And um, so finally I said, yes, you know, and I went to their website. I'm going to show it right now so that you can see it. And I followed the link of what they were going to send me. So as I show you this, Hopefully this will work. Um, you can see this is the exact wig that I have. It's chic ombre, blonde, chic blonde ombre, shoulder length with invisible lace human hair wig. WIG wig 009 is their code number. As you can see here, you can see the retail price, $504.99. They do give you payment options. And then I've just, this was out of all the pictures on their website, and I will tell you the pictures are not that great, but out of all the pictures on their website, this is the one that grabbed me. And I think it grabbed a few other content creators as well. I just thought it looked really pretty. It was a little bit longer than I wanted because the, the shortest length basically was 12 inches. So I went to the 12 inches and I said to the person, my contact, and I will say their communication has been really spot on. But I went to her and I said, I would like the color that is demonstrated. I don't see that as a color selection because you open this little box and you just get this square thing with this color. Um, you know, and you can go through all of the different color selections here and none of them really look as good as what's on the mannequin here. So this is what I told her I wanted. And I told her that I really wanted it to be very natural density. I didn't want it to be heavy at all. So I selected the 12 inch and the 120 natural density. And then I said, I would like the lace front. Of course, you know, it matches all skin colors. I, you know, have light skin, so I wasn't too worried about that. Cap construction, I really wanted to see the full lace cap, but it wasn't available in my selection. So I got the lace front cap. The size is average. I have a 22 inch circumference and that worked out beautifully for my hair. I did want it lightly bleached. I didn't want the knots fully bleached because I think in human hair wigs that can really hurt the strength uh, of the wig overall of the hair. So that was what I selected. And um, here's what I got. So I'm going to superimpose the box when I opened up the box. And not that the box is a huge big deal for me because it isn't, but the presentation is everything. So the wig came, this box came securely in a much larger box. And then opening up, the wig was securely inside and it had in a beautiful silk bag. Now, I know some other people got scrunchies. I didn't get a scrunchie, but I did get a wig grip, which I have on my head right now. And then you've got the silk bag to store your wig. Here is what my wig looks like. Now, I'm going to try to do a side-by-side -side so you can see the picture of the, the mannequin wearing it. Um, 12 inches is pretty close. I thought this would be more of a layered cut only because that's what I heard in the reviews, but it's actually very straight. It's a lot, my piece is actually more like a, 
a longer bob, I would call it that, you know, and um, straight. Obviously, this is unstyled. I do think that the color is very close, except I think my roots are a lot lighter than what was shown on the mannequin. It does come, let me turn it inside out. It does come with the lace that you have to cut, so you've got this extra lace. But the lace front goes from the ear tab, it goes all the way around, and then you have a mono top. The construction is wefted, but it's closed, and I think, I'm not too sure, it's really comfortable. And then you also have the combs. You can always remove the combs, but the combs are really kind of cool for extra security. So the way this is, I've not touched it, I've not altered it, I've not cut the lace. I'm not at all worried about cutting the lace, but the beauty about getting something like this, and I'm hoping this picks it up, is that you can actually cut this. You can actually gently pluck if you wanted to, to do a different hairline. If you have a, a real prominent, I have a widow's peak, but it's not super prominent anymore. It used to be, you know, um, but then when my hair got thinner, I lost a lot of my widow's peak. But you can just take any shop scissors, and just cut this lace right off. I have not done it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my head so that you can see. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna cut these tags out. Hold on a second. That way they won't be they won't be in the way. You do have sort of the bra strap adjusters if you wanted to cinch this in or make it looser. They do tell you to measure your head very carefully and go on their design, you know, their sizing so that you can select the correct size. And I'm going to put, I'm going to sort of like take a dive, dive my head into this piece, grabbing it by the nape, pulling it, pulling the nape down. I'm going to go to my ear tabs and get as close as possible to my ear tabs as I can. And now, oh, so the lace cap, the lace front is not cut as I said, and you can adjust this. So I, I've got my wig grip on, and you can obviously adjust this if you need to go up higher, depending on the, your forehead. The rule of thumb is four fingers, right? Depending on your forehead. I have a, a five inch forehead. I have a nine inch face, just to give you some perspective. So nine inch face, I, I, I tell you, straight. I'm not a fan of straight hair on me, but straight without any styling. I've not washed this. The fibers, the hair, super, super soft really soft, really feels super nice. I can't say, I don't know what type of hair. I don't know if it's Remy hair, I don't know. Um, I have just received this, let me show you this. I think this is really sweet. So I'm gonna take off camera, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna cut the lace front. I think I'll do this now because I'm not gonna thin this out. But I do want to take you outside so you can see this in the, in the natural light. Wake she. I'm actually impressed. Granted, I don't have a ton of experience when it comes to human hair wigs. I don't have any experience. But I have a lot of wig experience. The density, absolutely. Uh, this is a low density wig, definitely a low density wig. Cut my lace front, maybe cut some face framing layers in along here a little bit, and I would have no problem wearing this outside, going into the store, going out to dinner. I really wouldn't. Feels awesome. I will be right back. So I cut the lace, and I'm going to have to work a little bit more on the lace around my ears but because the lace goes right into the ear tab. So I'm gonna to have to cut that back a little bit, but I, um, I cut around my forehead. I want you to just see how, I mean, if you're seeing, you're seeing my wig grip probably and my wig cap, but how realistic these fibers are. I mean, these fibers are really, well, I shouldn't say realistic. 
the human hair, right? So what I would do is I'll probably take this. I'm actually going to be interviewing a stylist who works on wigs. So I'm actually going to take this and have her trim in a few face framing layers. I don't think I'm going to touch the color at all. Bit more ashy, more of a cool tone color. And I've seen some reviews, I think on, um, actually on the same one that the colors look completely different. I'm going to do another spin. And I think that's because they don't do this massive production and have this color batch and produce thousands of wigs. You know, it's a small company and just starting basically. So I think you are going to have a lot more variation on the colors just because of the, the fact that they are producing them individually. I'm going to superimpose some outside shots right now and I will come back and show you this after I have my stylist actually cut the layers just so you can see what it actually looks like and I might have her cut it a little shorter and um, and I might then just maybe maybe put in a few waves or curls or or something. I don't know. We'll see. But these, these hair, the hair is beautiful. It is so realistic. The density is spot on. I love the quality of the hair. The hair quality is amazing. And I can imagine that once I style this, I think it'll look awesome. So Wixi, I will leave you all the details below. Again, this is 12 inches. I, my face is nine. And so from what I could see, this is pretty well spot on for the 12 inches on me. And it is more of a blunt cut, you know, sort of like a layered bob a little bit, except that I think the back is not any shorter than the front. So I could cut that that way or have my, you know, obviously have the stylist do that if I want. Um, but I'm gonna have to really think about it. But for the price, and I think when I went to their website, they had this big, of course, by the time I publish this, it will be beyond the uh, Black Friday, but they have sales. So you can check out their website. They're continuously having sales. And of course, I will send you, I will link any kind of a discount code. I think they said I would get a discount code. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll link that below and I'll link the direct link to where this particular one is so that you can compare it a little bit better. But overall, I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very, very pleased. Again, I don't have a ton of experience when it comes to, well, I have no experience when it comes to human hair wigs. I, I um, do have a lot of experience with wigs and toppers and the fibers are just amazing. The hair is just amazing. I keep saying fibers because I'm so used to synthetic fibers, right? So I would probably push this up a little bit. I don't know. So what do you think? Some of you with the outside shots, please let me know in the comments below. Like the video. I'd love it if you let me know if you have experience with human hair wigs. What do you think of this look? And remember, I'm going to come back probably not for a week or two because I'm trying to remember when I go. And I will then probably do a follow-up video. And I'll show you what the stylist did and what my thoughts are after that. So thank you so much to Wixie. The presentation was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thank you. And oh, be sure to like the video. If you're new, please subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Bye, guys.